What is going on everybody? Wizard Valley coming at you with the video. Now today's video we're gonna do a little story time. And I love the story times. They're so fun and they're so entertaining to you guys. So I'm gonna do another one. And I'm hopefully I can get them thousands of views. So remember, stay on this video and watch it and we'll be at the motherfucking top. Okay, so this is the time that I got stabbed. Now this is now this is about eighth grade. Now my last story time was when I got knocked out in seventh grade or eighth grade or whatever it was. But this was definitely in 8th grade because I remember it very vividly and I remember everything about it. So let's get right into it. So, I had a friend named, his name was Maurice. And I was like my brother, you know, that was, that was my homie. You know what I'm saying? We jacked up, we was cousins and everything. And it was all good. That was my homie. My Our parents knew each other. My mom knew his dad. It was just all, ooh, who that? So, it was me. Oh, and I mentioned him in one of my last stories. Um. Okay, so it was me and Maurice. Now, Maurice dated this girl named Shelby. Now, Shelby, she was she was light skinned, you know what I'm saying? She she formed the reasons I like light skins. She was a good looking, she was kinda emo, and she was dirty. I'm keeping a hundred. She was dirty. She was skanky. She was hoary. I like that. I like that about her. She was emo. I I like that about her. So, you know what I'm saying? So what we did was, you know what I'm saying? So they started going out. They started going out on their own little thing. Hold on. They started going out. They started going out and they started dating. They held a hand and all that. You know, eighth grade love, you know, lasts forever, apparently. They started dating and all that good shit. I'm like, I'm like, listen, I'm like, okay, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting, I'm getting paid, but you know, eighth grade paid, but I'm getting $20. You know what I'm saying? I got $20 saved up. So they're dating and you know, they're, everything is cool and everything is great between them. So me and Maurice, like, I don't know what happened between us, but for some odd reason, there became some type of like, difference between us. I don't know what happened. I don't know why. Maybe because I look so motherfucking great and I look like this and I look like this back then that he wanted, you know, say he hated me or whatever. So I'm like, listen, all right, you hate me. You don't like me. Listen, this that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Even when he had sex with the bitch, when he first had sex with her, he didn't want to tell me. It was, it was a click. It was me, Darren, and Maurice. It was a click. He didn't even want to tell me when he had sex for him. Like, that's the first thing you want to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Your homies. You like, yo, I fucked this bitch and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing you want to tell your homie. And he didn't even tell me. He was reluctant to tell me. And I had to find out from the, from the bitch herself. So, in class and stuff like that, we're in Mr. D's class. Mind you, the teacher is named Mr. D. Mr. Uh, Dar. Some, some dumb shit. Eighth grade. I don't remember. But his name was Mr. D. And... You know, at that time, we didn't really know, like, they wasn't the thing, it wasn't a joke about the D, oh, I want the D, and this, that, and the third. That joke wasn't, you know, in style yet. So we just called him, you know, Mr. D. So, boom. We're doing this little project, you know, it's at one table, me, Darren, and Maurice, some other niggas are sitting there. And we, you know what I'm saying, we cool, that's why our tables, that's why our desk was there, because we was friends, and we was homies, so we always sat together. We sat together all the time, because we was homies, you know what I'm saying? So... This bitch Shelby uh, walks out the classroom, you know what I'm saying? I apparently, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, go back, go to the bathroom, bitch. So the teacher let her go to the bathroom. So she goes to the bathroom a few times. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? I guess she's sad, I think she was sad or something. Listen, I don't know, but this bitch was sad or something. So, you know what I'm saying? At our table, it was a running joke that this bitch was on her period or something. Listen, at, so I'm like, ah, uh, you on your period, bitch. Ah, uh, you bleeding, bitch. Ah, uh, you bleeding, bitch. Bleeding, bitch. Bleeding, bitch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bleeding, bitch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bleeding. But mind you, I didn't even know what a period was yet. It was, it was young, it was early. I don't even know what periods are. I don't know how it happens, how it goes down, how you fix it. I don't even know what a period is. The only period I know is at the end of a motherfucking sentence. So I'm like, uh, you on your period? She's like, uh, no, I'm not, nigga. You know, I'm not on my period, bitch. And I'm like, why are your pants wet then, bitch? Why are your pants wet? And then everybody busts out laughing. <laughs> everybody busts out laughing. So I'm like, I'm the man. I said the joke. If you say the joke that makes everybody laugh, you're the man automatically. It's no if, ands, or but. You are the man, and you get all the money and all the bitches. So that's what I was doing. After I said that, apparently she wants to go out and cry or whatever, or some shit. And mind you, she, that bitch, that's Maurice's girlfriend. That's one of my good friends' girlfriend. So apparently, for some odd reason, I don't know. He took offense to the bitch. So me saying talking about the bitch. So if he he took offense to the bitch, I don't know why he took offense to the bitch. 
So it's whatever. So he took offense and he got mad at me. He gets my book bag. Remember, when we're in class, eighth grade, 801. Uh, you know, if you was in 801, you know you was smart. If you was in 802, you'd be like, ah, you smart, but I don't really fucks with you. If you was in 803, that means you was retarded. You got a two on your test. You know, the test was out of four. You get a four, you smart. If you get a three, ah, you could have been a four. But if you got a two or one, you getting left in the fucking back. So we're in 801, we chilling, and I see this bitch, everybody laughing and shit like that. So Maurice gets my book bag and he opens it. Like he turns it upside down, opens it, all my books fall out. <laughs> so when all my books fall out, I'm like, Really nigga? So I think I grabbed his arm or something. I grabbed his arm. No, he 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 spilled on my bag, all my shit fell out. <laughs> And then I grab his arm to stop him. He gets a pencil and he stabs me in the arm. Damn, damn, damn. I turned into that. So I'm like, oh, this shit don't hurt. I don't remember which arm it was on. I, I don't remember which arm it was on. But it was either here or here. That was a fucking long time ago. So this motherfucker stabs my arm. And then I'm like, listen, what are you doing, man? Why would you stab my arm? He stabbed me. And then everybody's watching for my, you know, reaction. I didn't do nothing. I was just like... I'm just like looking, and then apparently the teacher comes and pushes us away and all that shit. So they call the dean, and the dean is uh, Mr. is Mr. Jenkins. Now let me tell you about Mr. Jenkins. This thing is mad big. This nigga was not even four feet tall. He was not four feet. But you know how them short ass niggas they always trying to be mad tall and shit. So he's mad tall for no. He's I mean, he, you know, ooh is that a? Mr. Jenkins is mad short. And he's mad muscular, cause them tall, them short ass niggas always trying to be muscular to make up for their height. So he's mad bra, like huge, big. So he has to come take me away and take me to the dean's office so they can call my parents and situate this whole thing. So they call my father. And apparently, apparently since I got stabbed there with a pencil, there might be a chance that I have lead poisoning or something. But let me tell you guys something. Pencils are not even real lead. It says lead, but it's not the kind of lead that would kill you. If it was the kind of lead that would kill you, why in the hell would they put it in a pencil? Why would they put it in a pencil that they give to little kids at like not even at like five years old? They're five and they're getting these lead pencils. They can eat it like it's nothing. So you're telling me that they're giving them you're giving these little kids these little pencils that will kill somebody from poisoning. Knowing kids stick themselves, stick their own eyes, eat the stuff, but it's all legal. So let me tell you, I'll be the first one to tell you that the pencil and that the lead and the pencil are not the same as the lead that will kill you. Just know that, okay? So they think I have lead poisoning, so I have to go to the hospital. My dad picks me up and he's yelling at me, oh, why did you do this? Why did you do that? I'm like, listen, I was, I was making a joke. Nobody was giving a fuck about this dumb bitch. Why is this dumb bitch even over here crying and shit? I don't care about her. So I just made a joke, you know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to teach you how to self-defend. And I'm like, first of all, I haven't seen you in how many years? So please exit to the door that you left out of in the first place. Go to the hospital and I have to get checked out before I come back to school. And it's like, oh, you know what? You can stay home from school the next day if you want to. But I'm like, listen, I got my fucking project. I gotta do that shit because if I don't do that shit, I'm gonna get a 60 instead of the 65 that I was already gonna get. So. Let me do that project. I'm going to go to school the next day. So this motherfucker gets suspended for for like weeks. They, my, my mans, they suspended him for so long. It was not even a joke. He was gone. He was gone for like months. <laughs> for like months. And he was like, and he was happy about it. Because all he did was play games and shit. And he's like, oh, I got suspended. I'm still got my Xbox. I'm like, you know what? When I got stabbed, you know what I'm saying? I hurt. You know what I'm saying? I hurt me. I was like, you stabbed me. And you was my homie at first. I, we, was, we, was, we, was, we was, you know what I'm saying? We was boys, you know? And then you gonna turn around and stab me. And I'll tell you something. When he came back to school, we didn't talk that much. And I and ever since we graduated, I don't know if that nigga even graduated. You know what I'm saying? Because this nigga was sleeping class all day, sleep, and then get a 100 on the test. Did y'all hear what I said? This man was sleep in class all day and then get a 100 on the test. I'm, look at look at me, look at me. How is how does that even work? How how does that even work? Like, I don't understand how his body works, how his brain works. He's in Pennsylvania somewhere, probably getting butt fucked by 
every nigga in the fucking world. But anyways, that has been my story time of when I got stabbed. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you go down below, go to the right, wait no, go to the, go down, and go to the left. Yeah, go down, go to the left, and look at those videos. I made those. They're funny, they're entertaining. Watch them, make sure you subscribe, and peace.